So soft eggshells may not just be a sign of calcium deficiency. Let's talk about it. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Renewed Homestead. I'm Denise and Ben is behind the camera. And I wanted to talk today about soft or weak eggshells. So a few weeks ago, we started noticing some softer shells in our ducks and we saved some of these so we could show y'all. So at first, just started out like this. You know, nothing major. We just thought, you know, maybe one of the ducks pecked it or stepped on it, right? No big deal. Then it moved to this and this is just mud on it, y'all. It moved to this, so you can see much softer. And then we got to this stage. There's not even a shell, it's, it's membrane. So when we first started noticing how soft it was, um, I went to <laughs> the first thing that everybody does, conclusion is that there's a lack of calcium. Well, we have, uh, as you can see in here, we've got eggshells and uh, aragonite that we started feeding them, gave them oyster shells. Um, you know, added uh, some garlic just as an Im immune um, builder um, in their feed. So they started, you know, kelp. So they were getting everything that they needed for calcium. The eggs still kept getting softer. And the, the one that you saw that doesn't have a membrane, that was actually after we were giving them oyster shells and aragonite, which they, they have free choice aragonite most of the time, um, kelp. Um, you know, the, the chicken egg shells um, so that it could get calcium back into their system. And, and the thing is, y'all, the chicken eggs are great. They are strong, they're beautiful. It was the duck eggs that we were having an issue with. So I started doing some research. And let's walk over here a moment. Because in just a moment, I'm gonna show you what I think happened. But so I started doing some research and digging. And of course, you know, first thing that comes up is calcium deficiency, right? Okay, you know, first thing I thought of, so I started doing everything I could to rectify the calcium deficiency. Well, that didn't work. You can see the membrane there and they had all the calcium they needed plus good duck feed. Um, so then I started doing some more digging. And of course, you know, when you're looking on the internet, you know, it's, it's doom and gloom, right? Newcastle disease, bird flu, um, egg drop syndrome, all kinds of things that I was looking up. But I didn't see any evidence of a virus in the ducks. They were healthy. They weighed well. No evidence of parasites, not external or internal parasites. So I still couldn't figure out what was going on. So I did a little more digging and realized that a vitamin D deficiency can cause um, soft or weak eggshells. And I'm thinking to myself, and I know I was talking to Ben, and I'm like, how could they lack vitamin D? They are outdoors all the time. Our chickens are always out. They're always on the pond. How in the world could it be a vitamin D deficiency? Well, well, the ducks are on the pond. Yeah, the ducks, yeah, ducks are outside on the pond, all of it. So I was trying to figure out how, how this could, how, how this could be. Well, to test the theory of a vitamin D deficiency, I started adding a poultry Nutribalancer to their food and then also a liquid vitamin um, that had vitamin D in it. And I will post a link uh, to the liquid vitamin um, that we use. Um, but sure enough, after about a week and a half. About that. Yeah, about a week and a half, the eggs started improving. improving and we'll go show you in a moment um, how they look now. Um, and, I, and I'm like, okay, well, it's gotta be vitamin D deficiency, but how could it have happened? Well. If you look at where our pond is, I think Ben and I were talking about this and I think we figured it out. If you look where the pond is, it's basically right there in the woods. So there are a lot of trees around it and they spend most of their day on that pond.
instead of the pond at the front, which has a lot of sunshine. So I think what might be happening, and y'all let me know what you think, um, is that they're spending so much time on that pond, they're not getting all the sun that they need. And so we're going to encourage them to go to the front pond um, several times a week just to make sure they're getting that vitamin D. But let's go in and let's show you how their eggs look now. All right, so this is their egg about a week and a half later. And it's been really damp here, y'all, so it's got a lot of straw and stuff on it. But look, the shell is back to normal. <clears throat> so, it was a vitamin D deficiency. Like I said, we were stumped for a while, but that's the only thing I can think of is that they're spending most of the time in that pond and they're not getting enough sun. Um, now, the last few days, we've had nothing but rain, so I would understand why there'd be a vitamin D deficiency. But... Um, I wanted to, to let you know our situation in case it might be happening to you. It's not always a calcium deficiency. Sometimes it can be as simple as a vitamin D deficiency. And our ducks, thankfully, are back on track. This is the third egg, third day in a row that the eggs look normal. So I think we're good. Um, I feel a lot better knowing that they're doing better. But uh, it was definitely uh, worrying for several weeks. And now they get quiet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So let us know if you have any questions. Let, let us know if you've dealt with this. Um, and uh, leave any comments down below. And I, like I said, I will put the link in the description for uh, the liquid uh, vitamin that I have been using. Um, that seems to have worked and everybody's doing well. Um, don't forget if you need deodorant, it is homestead and farm tested to work. Um, so if you need deodorant, renewedhomestead.com slash shop. Um, we also have our t-shirts for sale at bonfire.com. Um, and pretty soon we're going to have another item for sale in just a few weeks. We'll keep you posted when that happens. Thanks y'all so much. God bless. Have a good day. Bye y'all.